Hello and welcome to my 43rd video introducing my book Debugging Shakespeare. In the last video we looked at the oddly named astronomer Heinrich Decimator and his engraving of the constellation of Leo. We saw how John Dodd from Malpas and Shocklatch, who was nicknamed Decalogue Dodd, with its likely allusion to the dodos of Mauritius, the mathematician John Napier, and astronomer Johannes Kepler. We observed that the decimator's father was allegedly from the town of Dodendorf, that houses the monastery of St Mauritius with its recently discovered lead coffin containing the granddaughter of Alfred the Great. In this video, we're going to investigate further occurrences of the Ewer homophone in another suspected bard alias with a very dubious genealogy. He was known as Thomas Ewerquart and his alleged father-in-law was Alexander Elphinstone, the fourth Lord Elphinstone, who was the great grandson of King James IV of Scotland. Notice also that he was allegedly the gentleman of the bedchamber, another reference to beds by the bard. He appears to have married Jean Livingstone, a great granddaughter of James IV. So a great grandson apparently marries a great granddaughter of the same king. Thomas Ewerquart apparently marries the great-great-granddaughter of the same king too, called Christian Elphinstone. It certainly appears on the face of it that Thomas Ewerquart of Cromarty had at least some genealogical claim to the throne of Scotland via the Elphinstone family, whoever he was in reality. If you watch my series of videos from the beginning, you will discover even more. Thank you for watching. There will be many more videos like this in the near future. The only way to get a full appreciation of who the Bard really was is to buy my book. It is available only on Shopify. Please scan the QR code shown with your mobile and you will have a direct link to Shopify. Thank you.